Ospreys are large fish-eating hawks. With their hooked beaks, cruel eyes, and massive talons, they look like heartless killers. But ospreys have many tender virtues. Join me now for an up-close look at ospreys. This nest is located near a busy highway and active railroad. I can film the birds without upsetting them. Even so, I keep well away. Ospreys mate for life and usually return to the same nest each year. It's early in July. We'll call the male Ajax and the female Connie. Connie's larger, but otherwise both adults look the same. Their three chicks hatched about a month earlier. They're good providers. Connie stays home while Ajax brings in the fish. He offers the fish to Connie, who takes it and begins feeding her chicks. No human mother could be more careful with her feeding. Ajax constantly shuttles between the nest, the river, and nearby ponds. The chicks and Connie are very well fed. He usually catches trout, but this looks more like a goldfish. Has he raided someone's koi pond? Connie never leaves the nest unguarded. She rises immediately to challenge other hawks that intrude into her territory. While Connie's on defense, Ajax arrives with a fish. Connie returns and he offers it to her. She's still on high alert and not eating. Ajax leaves. Then he returns to offer the fish again. Connie isn't ready to eat. So Ajax leaves. And eats the fish. Ospreys are good housekeepers, continually bringing in new sticks and arranging them. They can break good-sized branches from standing trees and will keep working until they're woven into the nest. This location has occasional 90 mile an hour winds, but the nest never blows away. Now it's near the end of July and the chicks begin standing at the edge of the nest, looking out at the world.
chicks are starting to flap their beautifully feathered wings. Flapping soon turns to short hops under Connie's ever watchful eyes. Then one morning, a chick flies off. Everyone seems aware that a bird is missing from the nest. The new flyer lands in a tree and stays a while. It's not easy to take off from a wiggly branch or a swaying wire. Landings can also be a problem. Oops, sorry mom. Within a few days, both the chicks and adults are coming and going. For the first time in months, the nest is occasionally empty. The family will linger around here for a few weeks and then begin moving away. If you just want to see more ospreys, watch my YouTube movie, Nesting with Ospreys. It shows a complete nesting cycle, starting with mating. The rest of this movie shows how I shot the nest and is intended for serious photographers. I shot mostly around dawn, from about 250 feet away with the Panasonic Lumix GH5 camera. Here are my settings. The 10-bit, 100 megabit per second quality is excellent. The lens was a Sigma 150 to 600 attached with a Photose adapter that had an iris ring. Many shots use the GH5's extended teleconversion mode, which gives an equivalent focal length of 3,240. I used focus peaking and the camera's waveform monitor to check exposure on white feathers. I also used a TV Logic VFM058 external monitor, which gave me a big bright view of the nest and maintained my interest during many hours of nest watching. Wind buffeting was a problem, even in light winds, because of the extreme magnification. Mirage was a problem in slightly more windy conditions. These background trees are about eight miles away and wind mirage makes them look very squirmy. The noisy highway precluded on location sound recording and I substituted audio from other quieter locations. Please take care to stay well away from nesting birds. If they scream at you and fly, you're too close. It's bad for the birds and you won't get good shots. <laughs>